After each run back and forth, you have 10 seconds to jog around the marker, placed behind the start marker. The first time that you are unable to perform the back and forth run within the given time frame, you will receive a warning. 9, 1. 11, 1. Thirteen, one. Thirteen, three. Fourteen, seven. Fifteen, one. Fifteen, three. Hit it, Nice, nice save. Fifteen, four. Change to speed 16. 16. Hey, one. Well. Change to speed 17. 17. One. I want to show you what's up. This is one side colors. Don't cruise, boys. You can't hide here. Yes, it's all. It's all boys. You want to go there? We're a count, boys. This is the payday. Well, it's all three. One, two, three. Boys. Boys. So. Like I said, what, you know, we wanted to always keep it fresh and introduce things as we went, and this is sort of like the last block, if you like, in our in our um, program, in our plan. Okay, so what we do, we don't actually have what we call plans, so we don't have game plans or anything like that. What we do is we we like to put the word philosophy in there. It's just how we see things and and what we sort of want to do, because we know that once you get out on the field, things can change and we want to be able to adapt to that change. Because when you put a plan in place, that sometimes can mean that it's quite tight and rigid, and we have to stick to that. Well, we don't want you to stick to that. We actually want you to, to see, to play what other people see. Because, you know, how many times do you see, we, we, how many times do you hear, oh, we want to play what's in front of us, or what we see? We actually call them student athletes. So they're a student first, and an athlete second. Uh, if they haven't got a discipline to go to school and do their schoolwork, then they're not going to have a discipline to um, probably be a professional athlete these days. So we set about setting a, a target of 90% attendance. Uh, originally when we started it was 80%. Um, the year before that, in 2012, the average team attendance for first 15 players to school was in the high 60s. But it was, uh, it was our belief that we needed to get that up um, to have a good team. And we started at 80%. We're now at 90% and uh, we're close to that target um, over the last two years. And the key to field position is staying there. Do not weaken, stay in the now. So what we mean by that is stay now. Don't worry about what's happened. If you dropped the ball two minutes ago, don't worry about it because we're not. All we're worried about is what's happening now and what's going to happen in the next minute. And that's all it should be. Don't look too far ahead and never look behind. Okay, And that's the way you should be in life as well. All right, because life's to be lived, rugby's to be played, and it's about what's in front of you right now. Because at the end of the day, you know, hard work will get, to, get you to where you want to go. And you know, there'll be kids there that, that want to turn their passion into, into an obsession. And what does that obsession look like? Well, we've got, you know, we've got some pretty good examples with our All Blacks, our professional rugby players. Um, but if, it, if they just want it to be a passion, that's also fine. But they just need to understand that they need to work within our, within our framework and our structures. 20 is the middle and 30 would be the back, 
And depending on what the call is, it's how it works. So 10, there's a pin, but 10 would be the front lifter, and the next two, so be these two jumpers, lifting this guy, getting the ball at the front, so be these three, and then the jumper, the jumper would um, choose where he wants to jump. So how deep he wants to go, if he wants to come up real tight to the five, if he wants to jump a bit deeper, that's all on the jumper. And then again for a 20, it would just be those three, and this middle guy chooses where to jump, so he's, he's the target, we're all going off him, and then again 30. So the call would be something similar like, it would be like, oh, so Shaq or whoever's calling would walk in, and he might be like 14, 78, 84, and 14, because it's in the tens, that would be the call, and it'd be the front ball. But, and then having these options, we also have the bow options at the front and the back. So if those guys are walking in, and whoever's at the back of the line out sees that they want the ball, old hooker is just going to hit him, and same again, if you go to one of these two, the hooker can hit the guy at the front, so you've always got uh, another option, and it's just real simple. <coughs> the Nelson College fixture was our first real competition for the year. Uh, it meant that we were able to select a squad to travel and just view the boys uh, outside of rugby, uh, out off the field, and see how they contributed to the, the running of the team. Uh, that Nelson fixture was resurrected in 2014 with uh, Nelson coming over and playing us here uh, and actually giving us a bit of a touch up. But in 2015 we were able to go down there and, and reverse that score and won by uh, two points. And then they came over here uh, last year and won uh, right on the uh, last play of the game. Over the last uh, four game, four seasons, uh, we've in four games, we've managed to, um, to resurrect what I think is a, a wonderful traditional and one that dates back to 1973, as I say. So uh, I think it's important that we look to keep that going and because it does give us a, comp a competitive uh, pre-season game, uh, a bit of travel every second year, and we host and bill it. And um, so, you know, it's what rugby is all about. It's about the traditions. And um, we don't get a lot of that here in Wellington playing in our competition. It's just an 80-minute game, but um, being able to travel and be billeted, see other places, meet other people, I think that's really important as far as the traditional side of rugby is concerned. I'm going to put your name come up and keep you juicy, but before you put it on, I want you to think about what this beauty means to you, okay, and to your family, and to the brotherhood that we have at Rolotai College. So just take a look at that juicy, embrace the legacy that Rolotai Rugby has, okay, think about it. Put it on and go out and do the The beauty about playing Nelson College is that uh, Nelson College is the oldest school in New Zealand. It was the, uh, they actually contributed to the first game of rugby football in New Zealand. And uh, that's well documented uh, at their school, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. But for us to be able to be involved in a school that has that much history is, uh, is awesome for us. And uh, we're, it's great to be part of. You know, like we come to a space, so we might as well make it worthwhile, right? And um, it's really important to understand that we want to be competitive. We want, like we're competing for places amongst our own little group here, and that's really important. And you guys get the first bite of the cherry, so to speak, by you know putting your stake in the ground. And those guys that we left behind, you know, um, I feel sorry for them. But at the end of the day, you guys are the guys that we think have done the work and, and deserve to have first crack at this. All right. So first and foremost, you deserve to be here. All right. And you're representing a long legacy of like Ronald Todd College, you know, way back to 1928, so it's a pretty special moment, I, I believe, uh, having been part of the first team myself for a number of years in Hogsy. Um, what we want to concentrate on today is really just what we've been doing in training, and that's being able to transfer it from the training field onto the pitch. So the big thing for me today is defence, right? So the defence will win this game, defence wins championships. You know, the best attacking record in the, in the uh, in any competition, but really it's the team's the best defensive record that end up winning. Because that, that is a, a real window to the character of that team. And we want to be that team this year. We want to have a really strong defensive attitude. Okay, and lots of character on defense. We never give up. We make those tackles and nothing comes through the middle of us, right? For me, that's all I want. It's just a really good defensive attitude and a really good defensive day at the office. Thank you.
DJ, obviously, done a lot of work to be the captain of this side, and um, I'm sure that you'll give him your full support, because I know that he will give you everything. Okay, so this is what this is about now. We're starting to build here. This is our first day, all right? You know, and Rome was never built in a day and all that sort of stuff. It's all about just building blocks. So what's the first block we're gonna lay down here on the playing field? That's the question we're gonna ask ourselves today. And hopefully it'll be answered by the time the game's finished. You know, there's always things to work on, so let's not worry about it. You know, let's just get in there and just go hard. You know, if we do things at 100 miles an hour, it doesn't matter, because it's gonna be hell and easy. It's easier to fix than doing something 50%. All right, so let's just go 100 miles an hour. Let's be a team that works hard. And a lot of you guys have put a lot of work into this. You know, far better than you know years gone by. This is a new era of Rolling Time College Rugby. This is what it looks like. This is going to be the culture that carries us along for the next three or four years. Guys like Rion and, and B. You know, have you seen your boys? You've seen that because you've been in that position, you know, two or three years ago. You know what the seniors look like. Now you're one of them. So you have to make sure that you let them know what being part of this wrong type college person thing is all about. What you need to deliver day in, day out. Not only on the field, but also off it, around the school. Okay, so it's bloody important, really important that we lay down that first block today. All right, so once again, congratulations DJ, I know how hard you've worked for this, something you've always wanted, something we've always wanted you to have. We're going to have a crack at this, we might as well start now.
Hey, we paid our hearts on day, and then we tried, we did it for our brothers, but we just didn't come out with the, the outcome, mate. But um, from now on, you know, we have a season, we have hurricanes, we have bigger games. Yeah. <laughs>
Today was all about building for the season, eh? And there's plenty of good stuff today. Good scrums, good line outs, good hitter, plenty of good stuff. So it's all about those building blocks, and those building blocks were there today. Because we were able to play to the back end of the game, whereas they weren't. Like we had the ball, we had the control of that game, you know, given the conditions, you know, it's 50 50. But like Steve said, we're really, really proud of you. It's a really good block to lay down, okay, for us to go forward. Yeah, just well done. Well done, DJ. Okay, well done to the leadership team. You did really well. Boys, um, other than that, you know, we only had one week to, to get together as a team. Two days, actually. We, look what we've done after this. Yep. You know, we, we didn't work like four weeks like four people. So, you know, got on you, boys, head up in. That's us this year, that's us. We just finish off one up here, okay? When you done? Going away gave us the opportunity to see how the boys would prepare for the game uh, off the field, which was is really important to our selection process. Uh, and we were very impressed with the way they did prepare and turn up and play the game. Although we were down um, in the first half, our strength and conditioning component, which we'd done over the pre-season period, uh, definitely kicked in. And if the game had gone on any longer, I think we would have run them down. But uh, it wasn't to be. But we were, overall, we were really happy with the uh, performance and the off-field uh, structures and processes that we were slowly putting into place over the two days. So Jack, you're right opposite him. You just race out. Bang. Smash him. Fill the gap. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.